So we've talked a lot about uh, differentiation with partial derivatives. Uh, in multivariable calculus, you also need to do integration. So in single variables, you just have an integral over one variable. But here we have to worry about integrating over two or three variables. So we have uh, two types of integrals. We have the double integral. So we will write that as an integral over some area of a function of two variables. Uh, dx, dy, or we will integrate over a volume, so we'll write that as a triple integral over a volume of a function of three variables, x, y, and z, dx, dy, dz. Okay, um, I think to illustrate this, I should do an example, so let me um, uh, show you what the problem is we're going to solve. So um, compute the volume of the surface z equals x squared y above the xy plane with base given by the unit square with vertices 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1. So we can draw a picture of the base. So this is the uh, xy plane. So the base is just a uh, square. So it's just this square. And the surface is uh, z equals uh, x squared y. So we want to find essentially what is a volume of the, um, between the surface uh, x squared y and this uh, square in the xy plane. Okay, so a double integral then is, uh, can be uh, interpreted as a volume, just like a single integral is the area under the curve. The double integral is the volume under this function f of xy. Okay, so how do we set this up? So I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. So in the first way, uh, we're going to do a double integral of the function, which is uh, x squared y. And we can integrate um, dx dy. x goes from 0 to 1. y goes from 0 to 1. So the, when you write this integral, the meaning is you do the the first integral dx first, so the uh, dx, the first um, infinitesimal uh, element dx means that the first integral corresponds to integrating x dx, and the second integral corresponds to integrating dy. And in a case like this, you just do them sequentially. So first you integrate um, over x, keeping y fixed. So if we integrate this over x, we still have 0 to 1. And then we integrate um, x squared, keeping y fixed, will be x cubed over 3. So x cubed y over 3. And that will be as x goes from 0 to 1. And then we'll have a dy integral left. So this is the value of x now. We integrated x. So the lower limit will be 0. The upper limit will give us a y over 3. So this will be an integral from 0 to 1, y over 3, dy. Then this is y squared over 2. And uh, we plug in the upper limit 1, which will be uh, 1, 6. OK? I hope you can do that in your head. So I'm going to try and save some uh, space here. So y squared over 2 will give us uh, 1 6. So that's the first way. The second way, uh, instead of integrating x first, we could integrate y first. So we could have the integral from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, x squared, y. But now we integrate dy dx. Okay, 
what would this be? So now we integrate y first, keeping x fixed, so it becomes y squared over 2. So the outer integral is 0 to 1, and then we have an x squared y squared divided by 2 between the limits 0 and 1 and dx. Um, so now this limit here corresponds to the limit of y. The lower uh, limit will be 0, so the upper limit will be x squared over 2. So this is the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared over 2 dx. This becomes uh, x cubed over 2 times 3, which is uh, 1 6 in the upper limit and 0 in the lower limit. So again, we get 1 6. Okay? So this uh, first one is integrate x first. The second is integrate y. In uh, this particular problem, we can actually shortcut this. We have integral from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, say, x squared y dx dy. Um, because these limits don't depend on x and don't depend on y, uh, my preferred method for doing this uh, integral would just be to do these two integrals separately. So the x squared dx is the inner one, the y dy is the outer, so you can write this as 0 to 1 y dy times 0 to 1 x squared dx. So when the limits don't depend on x and y, um, and x squared y is separable into a function of x times a function of y, then you can uh, factor the integral, okay? So this would be my choice. So the integral of y dy is y squared over 2, so that would give us a 1 half. And the integral of x squared dx is x cubed over 3, so that would give us a 1 third, which is a 1 6 again. Okay. So let me summarize. Um, we want to generalize then uh, single variable integrals to uh, functions of uh, two or three variables. Uh, these are called double integrals and triple, triple integrals. A double integral is going to be over some area. A triple integral is going to be over some volume. Here I give you what is possibly the simplest type of integral to do. How do you integrate some function, here I call it z equals x squared y, above a square in the xy plane? So I set it up as a double integral of the function dx dy, the limits here corresponding to the limits of x and the limits of y. To do this type of integral, uh, all you do is you do one at a time. So you integrate x first. Uh, keeping y fixed, and then you integrate y. In the second one, you, I integrated y first, keeping x fixed, and then I integrated x. And then in the third one, I show you that this type of integral is actually factorable, so it factors into two single variable integrals. In all cases, we get the answer of 1, 6. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.